Hi guys, welcome to the next part of Next.js 13 tutorial series. In this part, I'll talk about generating meta tags like the title, description, uh, adding different kinds of meta tags for Facebook, uh, like OG title, OG description, just like this was already added in this file. So it's actually doing is if I go to, let's see if it's the project is running now. If I go back and refresh, let me go back to the home route right and if i go to the element and go to the head you can see that it's showing the title and the meta name description and the content and the title of it is the title is visible you know at the tab right create next tab and the uh, description is visible over here within the head tag right so it's coming from here we are generating the text and we have added the title and description and it's automatically being picked from this metadata object in the layout file right so if i go to the layout.tsx within the notes which we generated and let me change it a bit so it's the notes title and the description would be the notes description okay if i save it and go to the notes route if i go to the head you can see the notes title and the notes description and also the tab title has been changed so it's automatically being picked and we can add this metadata object in any file in which we want we, we can have a, a different meta tags for each of the layout file as well as the different page.tsx file now what if we have the dynamic data we are not sure that how we can add the dynamic title and the description there are different ways to handle that so let's say that we have this notes uh, dynamic route so if i go to the page and here the there is a different title of each node in this page so assuming that we want to show the title with the title of the node in which we are at so how we can do that just that just like we in the uh, seventh or sixth video i think we had this pre-built function that is given by next.js 13 to us we have another function which is called generate metadata that we can use to generate the dynamic metadata for any page so let's try to do that so let's export async async i'm adding async because um, i'll be calling an api to generate the title of that particular note okay so async and then the function generate metadata and inside it it will receive the params like the node param okay and we can also pass it search params as well but we don't have the search params currently in our url what are the search params actually search params can be question mark query equals to this and and the second param equals to so these are the search param currently we don't have that so just like we are going to implement the dynamic params over here same way we can add the search param as well so you don't need to learn extra so now let's add some type of this param so it's going to take the params and the node of type string and we have to add the return type to this function and the return type of this function is the promise metadata we have to actually import this metadata in the at the top from next okay so it must be saying that the function is declared but it's not returning anything so we'll be doing that just now so here we are going to get the id so the id is going to be given from the params dot node and this is what we have already added over here and then we can get the node by calling an api any await fetch and i'm going to copy this url from here okay and then the response response.json 
right so we have received the node now in order to debug that let's log the node if it's printing it successfully now i'm going to return an object inside it and the title which is going to be the node dot title and i can have the description anything inside it so i'm going to say description of node node dot title okay so i think it will work let's first see in the terminal of my browser so you can see that it is printing uh, and now i'm going to see whether the title is being added or not so you can see this is the title has added and you can see the top of the tab on the browser this is the same as the title of this note is printing on our page and the description is also being shown up so it means that if we change the note let's go down and head I need to refresh this actually so head now you can see the title and the description are updated so it means that this value of this note mainly the title is being updated uh, through this function and it's automatically being called and whenever this page is going to be triggered the title and the description of this note will automatically be added in the head of our page so it's very important for the search engine optimization for the introduction of our page or the layout in Next.js 13 and this is the way Next.js 13 gives us to add title description or any other property to be added in the head tag of our DOM. So I hope that you have liked this video. Make sure you hit the like button and subscribe my channel.